Okay, uh, so welcome everyone to CarpentryCon 2022. Our theme is Expanding Data Frontiers, which invites you to use data to open up our current limits of knowledge. My name is Trisha Adamus. I am a research data librarian at uh, the University of Wisconsin-Madison in Wisconsin, the United States. And I have served as one of the co-chairs for the 2022 Carpentry Con Task Force. Um, and my pronouns are she, her, hers. Jesse, do oh, you want to introduce yes. yourself? I'm sorry, I thought it was on mute and now I'm not. Uh, good morning, everyone. Where I am is morning uh, and welcome. Uh, my name is Jesse Johnston. Uh, I, I teach at the University of Michigan School of Information and also served as one of the co-chairs for the uh, Carpentry Con Task Force. Um, I use he, him, his pronouns, um, and I'm currently located in Michigan. Uh, welcome, everyone. Um, oh, sorry, I have two screens here, just getting getting awake. Uh, to get us started, we want to take some time to acknowledge everyone who made this event possible. Funding was made available through the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation and the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation. These organizations allowed us to broaden participation by offering free registration and providing specific services to make our event more accessible. And funding was also made available through our new accessibility fund at the Carpentries. The accessibility fund will be an ongoing fundraising effort to ensure that we have available funds to support the accessibility of this event and other events hosted by the Carpentries. If you're interested in contributing to the fund, you can scan the QR code on this slide or go to the link that we're posting in chat now. If you contribute, you have the opportunity to select from some swag gifts related to CarpentryCon, including hex stickers like the one shown here, tote bags or mugs. How these funds are being used is described on the Accessibility Fund website. We already have raised over 1200 US dollars through this fund and hope this will be continuing into the future. Uh, so, uh, event planning was fully supported by our Carpentry Con Task Force, which consisted of 29 volunteers and five liaisons from the Carpentry Corps team. Um, Jesse and myself have served as Task Force co-chairs in the Western Hemisphere in support from Alicia Kral as the uh, Corps team liaison. Um, Anna Giat, alum, Rasal and Habea Miller served as co task force co-chairs in the Eastern Hemisphere with support from Angelique Tressler of the core team liaison. And I'd like to, on behalf of the task force, also give a huge thanks to our core team liaisons um, who provided great support and have really made this event come together. So thank you to both of you, um, Angelique and Alicia. Um, we'd also like to recognize our subcommittees. There were four subcommittees. The Accessibility Subcommittee helped support making this event more accessible. Anaziat served as the Task Force Co-Chair Liaison, and Bryn Elliott was the Core Team Liaison for this subcommittee, and our other members are listed on this slide. Uh, the second subcommittee, the Communications Subcommittee, uh, helped develop and send out communications surrounding the event. Uh, Katie Whistle and Jeet Mukherjee uh, served as its co-chairs. Uh, take a moment to uh, read the other names of the folks that were part of this uh, communication subcommittee. And I myself was the uh, task force co-chair liaison. Our third subcommittee was the program subcommittee, which helped to identify keynote presenters, review session proposals, and develop the overall shape of the program. The committee was co-chaired by Tina Griffin and Sanjay Floria. Bea served as the task force co-chair liaison for this subcommittee, and you can take a moment to see the rest of the committee members on this slide. Uh, finally, we had the website subcommittee, and uh, they helped to get our conference website up and running and continue to add new content. 
uh, Rohit Gaswani and Jian Lu served as its co-chairs, uh, and Jesse was our task force co-chair liaison, and uh, Manisha San was our core team liaison for the subcommittee. And we also want to thank the many volunteers who are making this event possible for this week and next week. This includes the session leads, our lightning talk presenters, our session facilitators, Zoom helpers, and those who are making themselves available to answer questions that come in from the community. So let's take a moment to give a virtual round of applause for all of these individuals. Um, feel free to unmute yourselves if you want to give a shout out or add an emoji or appreciation in the chat. And we can take a moment to pause to let those come in. Um, Yay! Yay, yes. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you everyone. <laughs> Yes, we're so very happy for all of our volunteers. Um, so, sorry, I clicked on the wrong one. Um, we're now gonna transition to provide you with some important information that you will need to know to support your participation in Carpentry Con over the next two weeks. Um, if you did uh, unmute yourself, that would be great if you could now mute yourself, um, so. So first, uh, we'd like to review the code of conduct. The Carpentries is dedicated to providing a welcoming and supporting environment for all people, regardless of background or identity. And by participating in the conference, uh, participants are accepting to abide by the Carpentries code of conduct and accept the procedures by which any code of conduct incidents should be resolved. Uh, any form of behavior to exclude, intimidate, or cause discomfort is a violation of the code of conduct. And in order to foster a positive and professional learning environment, we do encourage the following kinds of behaviors. Uh, please use welcoming and inclusive language in all the spaces of the conference, whether Zoom or Etherpad or online social media. Be respectful of different viewpoints and experiences. Gracefully accept constructive criticism and feedback. Focus on what's best for the community overall and show courtesy and respect towards all community members. So a lot of time went into making sure we considered accessibility throughout the planning of this event. Uh, you can find the full accessibility statement on our website, uh, which will be posted into our Zoom chat. All the programming for the event was placed into three primary time blocks to reach our global community. We wanna thank those session leads who were able to repeat their sessions at multiple times to accommodate more of our community members. Please note that all sessions will be live captioned in English and all keynote presentations will be interpreted in American Sign Language. If you requested other sign languages, other translation services or other funds for childcare services, caregiver services, mobile data, or had other funding requests, Bryn Elliott, the Carpentry Accessibility Manager will contact you directly. The full conference schedule is available on the conference website, which is linked in the chat. And um, there have been a few updates to note on the schedule, which have happened over the past few weeks as the schedule comes together. Some sessions have been removed and others have been rescheduled. So to be sure that you have the most up-to-date information regarding date, time, and session accessibility, please consult the schedule at https colon slash slash 2022.carpentrycon.org slash schedule. Just a few notes about the sessions. Um, when you're looking at the Carpentry Con schedule, there are a few important things to note. Uh, if there is an R, uh, capital R in the title that indicates that the session has an attendance cap and required separate registration in addition to general registration. Um, and a link to register is available in the event link. If there is an asterisk in the title, it indicates that the session is repeated. Uh, the additional times available are listed in the event link. And uh, capital ES indicates a session is presented in Spanish and a capital EN indicates that the session is presented in English. Uh, if it has both the ES and the EN, it indicates the session will be presented in both languages. Uh, all sessions will, be, will include English captioning and may include additional translation services as requested by participants through registration. 
If you're unable to attend the session, but have a question for the presenter or the session leads, please add those to the etherpad for each session uh, under the heading questions for presenters slash session leads. A link to each etherpad is provided in information for each session on the schedule site. Uh, all session materials have been made available by session leads in a Google folder. Um, it is titled CarpentryCon 2022 Session Materials. Uh, a link for that will go into the shared, uh, uh, well, the shared folder will go into the Zoom chat now. And as far as other communications during the conference, we'll be using two Slack channels in the Carpentry workspace, uh, which you can find at uh, http colon slash slash swcarpentry.slack.com, uh, which uh, will be supporting CarpentryCon. Uh, you can also look for the hashtag uh, CarpentryCon channel, which will be used for announcements, initiating discussions relevant to sessions, and asking general questions about the event. Technical issues can be directed to the hashtag CarpentryCon hyphen help desk channel on Slack. If you're not on Slack, you can request to uh, join the Slack channel and we'll be sharing a link that will allow you to do that in the chat. Uh, and you can also send email to carpentrycon at carpentries.org with any questions. Uh, but please note that the communications sent to this email address may have a slower response time than those on Slack. You can also follow the event by uh, searching for the Twitter handle at CarpentryCon on Twitter and using the hashtag, hashtag CarpentryCon2022 on Twitter. So we have some time remaining. Um, and with that remaining time, we'd like to do a few icebreaker activities. Yeah. And we're going to use a tool um, called uh, Mentimeter. And there are three ways that you can participate in the icebreaker activities. Um, you can click on the link that's posted in the chat. Um, you can scan the QR code on this slide if you have a mobile device uh, and uh, or a way of scanning the code. Or you can follow the instructions provided on uh, by going to menti.com. That's www.menti.com. And you can enter the code that is in the chat. So please take a moment to do that. Uh, and um, we have a few icebreaker questions that will help us understand where we're at and get to know uh, the landscape of everybody joining CarpentryCon a little better. So our first question is, uh, we would love to know where in the world you're joining us from. Uh, so please write your response to the question in the link in the chat, um, and it will appear here on the screen. So it looks like we have some North American and European representation, UK, A number of folks joining us from the US, which um, this uh, session was certainly optimized for US and uh, European time zones. Oh, I see another Michigan. All right. And we have some uh, people joining us from uh, South America, Puerto Rico. Nice to see some different language communities represented. Uganda, that's great. One of the things that I love about the Carpentries community is the international breadth. So it's so fun to see where people are coming in from. Madison, Wisconsin, maybe that's you, Trisha. <laughs> I think that one's me. <laughs> I'm going to transition to our next question. All right, Trisha, do you want to uh, moderate that question? I can. Um, so our next question is, what are you most looking forward to over the next two weeks? Um, you can respond using that same URL. Um, it should have the new question up. 
Um, and uh, if you can't just think of one because you're so excited about these next two weeks, uh, you can submit up to five entries. So go for it. We're really excited to see what you are excited about. Let's see. I love learning showing up at the as the big one in the middle. And community, of course, that's what we're all about here with carpentries. I also like seeing connecting so big. Yes. Connecting, connect, connections, a lot of mm -hmm. those. And of course, uh, you know, I like meeting new people showing up as well. Um, even though we are here in this virtual space, uh, we are really looking forward to uh, communicating and uh, with our colleagues. And that's what this is, this conference is all about. So happy to meet new people and bring them into the community as well. We can trans transition now into the, into the final one, if you would like to. Okay. I think it slowed down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, sounds great. Um, do you want to do that one, Jesse? Yeah. Um, I lost the screen share, though. Alicia. I did as well. Yeah, I did that on purpose since oh, we're going okay. to be doing that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. this isn't a Mendy. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Well, our last icebreaker here is uh, we'd like to ask all of the participants at the moment to select an emoji in their Zoom that best describes how you're currently feeling and add that to the chat. So um, you can do that by um, putting your cursor in the chat and you'll see above the chat a little smiley face and you can select any emoji um, from the Slack uh, list of options there and um, add that into the chat. I see them rolling in. I love it. Yes. I see a mask. Uh, I'm glad that we're virtual, <laughs> um, which allows for a little bit um, more social distancing. It's a strange time in many places of the world during this pandemic. No. Stars, happy clowns, hopefully for yay, interesting. <laughs> I like the dancer emoji share. That's wonderful. Okay. Well, well as the emojis are coming in, um, I'm going to help us <laughs> transition over to the um, keynote presentation um, that is going to be led, um, or the presentation by um, Shani. Um, I am pasting a link into the chat um, the um, next uh, or the next bit of our um, uh, session is going to be led in Spanish so if you um, would like English captions um, you can use the link that I just shared in um, the chat to uh, get the English chat captions during this this event. Um, we'll be starting at 30 past, so nine minutes from now. Um, so if some you need to take a break, we'll be in the same room. Um, we'll get started again um, in about nine minutes. Um, but I uh, just want to thank Jesse and Tricia for presenting our welcome today. Um, I'll give a, another little round of applause. Thank you so much. And thank you for serving as our task force co-chairs. We very much appreciate it. Um, but we'll take this time to transition again. Um, we'll get started um, with the presentation, the keynote presentation in about nine minutes. And it will be in this room. Thank you so much, Alicia. I also wanted to just acknowledge the great emojis that are coming in with the ASCII text, which I love. 